the next project. We're working on this one right now. Hey y'all, Chris from Key Farm. So, the last video I made regarding any sort of fabrication, I was beginning to build a mini bike because I looked around at all the parts that I had for another project and I thought, you know what? I think we can make a mini bike on the way to the other project. And then life kind of got busy. Had some bad weather, the farm flooded a couple times, work got real busy, you know, just normal life stuff. But I have carved out a little bit of time to start working on the mini bike. So let's go around it and see what I got built and see what I still have to do. And bear in mind, I built this out of stuff that I had laying around. So if you don't like the way I did some things, that's fine. Dog me in the comments. Comments help the channel. Everybody wins. All right, y'all. So if you watched the first video, you'll probably remember that this was a gate. This was an old farm gate. Now look, it's sort of tack welded together and it's sort of what I call fab welded together. When I weld, I have to really concentrate, okay? Well, when I'm fabricating, I'm concentrating on the fabricating, not the welding. So yes, I'm gonna go back and grind some of these welds and clean things up and weld it better. But remember, feel free to dog me in the comments. They help the channel. All right, so check it out. We're gonna start here at the back. Uh, this bar may eventually go off, but you know, if you watch the first video, I'm probably adding tires to this thing. So that bar may need to stay to help me add tires. All right. Um, I gave me some uprights here. This bike, I don't have any sort of a tubing bender, so this bike is all about angles, okay? You see the angles in here? This is coming off, and we'll just have the angled piece. All right, so we got pillow block bearings back here. We got a hub in there. The hub's gonna be hard to see. The hub's in there. We do have a brake, uh, but we don't have brakes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Does that make any sense? All right, pillow block bearing on this side. Got a keyed shaft, and we have a longer axle because this will be a trike at some point. All right. <clears throat> there we have an X-Series hub and an X-Series weld-on sprocket. That's 60 teeth. Uh, number 40 chain coming up to our Predator 212. And a clutch. I'm going to say it for you. It needs a torque converter. Yeah, maybe it does. Look, I've never had a clutch on anything but the tractor, and that's kind of a different animal. So I thought, it's 20 bucks. Let's try it. Try out a clutch. It may need a torque converter. I don't know. But there, I saved you a comment. But comments help the channel. Well, comment something else. All right, so um, here we got more angles. Um, see how that's on top of that? I didn't want that to be on top of that. But if I didn't put it on top of that, the chain hit the frame, the way it was all set up. Yeah. All right, foot pegs, I just put those on this morning. Now, a while back, I bought all of this steel, and I really wanted to use it, so I did. <laughs> so check it out. Frame comes up there like that. Got another angle right there. All right, y'all. <laughs> I have never built a mini bike. I have ever, only ever rode one for about two minutes before this. So yeah, I could have bought bearings and a tube and done things a lot differently and maybe I should have, but I did not. So here's what we got. So what you're looking at is two pillow block bearings and hangers back here. And then the way I built the front end is I built that piece and that piece, and I threaded the ends of this bar. So, with those bolts in there, uh, I mean, unless the pillow block bearings break, it's there, it's not going anywhere. And then up front, it's pretty simple. <laughs> More pillow block bearings. Look, I learned how to do a lot of this stuff in an in industrial setting. That's why this bike looks the way that it does. <laughs> So more pillow block bearings up here. It The bike did sit out in the rain and all the fresh steel rusted. Uh, oh, 
I did learn this. Check this out. So what I wanted to do was um, I wanted to build my own handlebars out of this same one inch square tubing. But I quickly learned that if you're going to attach a throttle to something, you need to have 7 eighths bars. And 7 eighths tubing was not very easy to come by. So I robbed some handlebars off of an old bicycle. And they, I think they look pretty good. All right, so check this out. We got regular old handlebars up here. Again, this corner will be cut out and there will be an angle here. And once everything's painted all the same color, it won't look so goofy. Um, right now, all we have is a throttle. So that is the overview. The motor is on really long slots. See, I can move the motor up. I don't know if it's going to need a jack shaft. Right now, the throttle needs adjusted, and it won't even pull the throttle all the way open. I've been down the road on it. It doesn't have any low end power. And I was thinking with a 60 tooth sprocket that it would have a lot of low end power. But then again, the throttle is not pulling the engine wide open. We're not turning anywhere close to 3,600 RPMs. So perhaps our clutch is not even locking up good. This is kind of a learn as you go project, but it's already a lot of fun. Uh, here's some footage of me riding it. Just kidding. Here's some real footage of me riding it. <laughs> Alright y'all, let's take it for a test run. Alright y'all, <clears throat> so we got a long way to go. I have the brake caliper to get on this thing. Definitely need to adjust the throttle cable where it will pull the throttle wide open. Got some things we need to do and I got to figure out why it doesn't have any low end torque whatsoever. But we'll figure it out. Whether we need a jack shaft, whatever it takes, we'll figure it out. I think it's just that the motor's not uh, turning enough RPM to lock the clutch up all the way. I think once I turn the engine up and get the throttle cable pulling a little farther, I think we'll solve that. Hey, some of my videos in the past people have had trouble hearing, so I've added an external microphone. I hope it does some good. If it doesn't, we'll uh, continue to work on the problem because no point in doing them if people can't hear them. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, hit that thumbs up button, anything to help us out. And we got a really cool new project coming up. It's not Predator 212 powered, but it's going to be pretty interesting. Hey, I'm Chris from Key Farm. Love God, love people, and watch some of these other videos. Bye.